I am Ted Malinsky. I am a distinguished professor of Ohio University in Athens. And um, I just presented uh, my talk on International Academy of Cardiology, uh, annual scientific session 2018 uh, held in Boston. Uh, my talk was about nanomedical studies of the endothelium in the cardiovascular system during the aging of the cardiovascular system. And um, uh, the stu studies are designed based on our nanotechnology, nanomedical devices, uh, which are uh, very small, about diameter about uh, 200, 300 nanometers that can be uh, the sensors can uh, be designed to detect certain small molecules in the cardiovascular system and uh, provide us with information about the concentration and life, uh, length of life of them, in the, of these molecules in the cardiovascular system. And uh, with the sensors, uh, we use several models to study aging of the endothelial cells. Endothelial cells are crucial cells uh, which align the uh, vasculature, the monolayer of cells, but they are vital in the providing or controlling um, flow of the blood in the vasculature. Uh, we use uh, different models, uh, starting from a model of endothelial cells, human of endothelial cells, uh, studied during the uh, uh, the time of um, their uh, renewal or transformation to the new cells, uh, so-called passaging of the cells. And it is a model, a rough model of them for study the aging because it mimics really the aging uh, of um, endothelial cells. Uh, and the second model which we studied was the model of uh, uh, the mice, mice model uh, with uh, giant mice, uh, dwarf mice, and normal sized mice. Uh, and uh, first about the, the studies with, um, uh, with the single endothelial cells during different passages. Uh, it appeared uh, that uh, when uh, endothelial cells become older, uh, the nitric oxide, small molecules, uh, small molecules which is responsible for signaling in the cardiovascular system, uh, and also prevents the adhesion of any other entities from the blood to the wall of the cell. Uh, the nitric oxide uh, dec concentration decrease uh, with the age significantly. In this same time, we noticed that uh, so-called molecules, which are fundamental for oxidative stress, means damaging molecule for the cardiovascular system, like superoxide and peroxynitrite. These two molecules increase exponentially. Uh, and uh, uh, similar, similar uh, effect we observe in the animal model, and then when the animal uh, become older, this uh, ratio of nitric oxide concentration to oxidative stress or peroxynitrite uh, decreases exponentially, very, very rapidly. And the animals which by genetic design produce uh, a lot of this bad molecule peroxynitrite, those animals, they cardiovascular deteriorated very fast. Uh, and the lifespan was about 12 months only. Uh, they died all after 12 months. And the cardiovascular system uh, was very poor. And this was accompanied by the very low ratio of nitric oxide to peroxynitride, which we use to quantify uh, this effect. The normal mice, which lifespan is 
about 24 months, uh, the ratio uh, was not, of an auto peroxynitrate was not so, so low and correlated very much with the, with the lifespan. And, uh, and the midgen mouse, mice, they, uh, they have a much longer lifespan, about 33 months. Uh, you know, three times longer than giant, and they have a, and they have a very good endothelium, and they have very favorable ratio of you know, to peroxynitrate. And uh, this um, uh, this data clearly indicate that uh, the the lifespan correlate directly uh, with level of the increased level of the uh, of the concentration of oxidative stress and uh, they are in reverse proportion to the nitric oxide which is a vital molecule there's two molecules they play, they play a really vital role in maintaining the vascular system and uh, the ratio or balance between the star molecule change significantly when with age. Therefore, uh, uh, we find also that uh, this ratio of NO2 peroxynitrate, uh, which deteriorate or is lower and lower with, uh, uh, with, with age, is also proportional to uh, the length of the telomeres, which has been considered as one a very good indicator of the oxidative stress and uh, uh, the lifespan. Uh, and we finally find, found that uh, the reason why uh, this process is, is, is of a no concentration or level and this bad molecule peroxynitrite changed with the, with the age, the reason is um, so-called expression of nitric oxide synthase. Nitric oxide synthase synthesizes nitric oxide when this and when the endothelium is normal and functional. However, with age, this functional endothelium become gradually dysfunctional and shift the equilibrium to very high oxidative stress and finally is a cause of death and failure of the vascular system. Therefore, uh, these uh, studies which we have done, they are uh, fundamentally related to the clinical um, observation of different diseases like hypertension, atherosclerosis, uh, hypervolemia, uh, and um, uh, many other the, 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 the diseases of uh, current our uh, civilization that are related to that process. It means that if for some reason, including of course age, th that this ratio between these two fundamental molecules and nitric oxide and peroxynitrate uh, change unfavorably, uh, create environment which is controlled by oxidative stress uh, and this oxidative stress finally uh, program apoptosis and uh, cellular death. And uh, these processes are fundamental uh, to, to the length uh, of our life and therefore there are uh, uh, two molecules which we have to during uh, our existence here <laughs> we have to observe because we find also that this aging processes which change this uh, fundamental relationship between nitric oxide and this bad molecules peroxynitrite can be uh, modified by uh, different pharmacological intervention. Therefore, if we start to do it relatively early, we can extend our life changing this um, uh, this balance which is fundamental for cardiovascular system.